Hi, my name is Stephen Chain, aka the 3D Professor, and welcome to a quick introduction to using the Geometric Pattern Tool in Autodesk Fusion. The Geometric Pattern Tool is different from the Standard Pattern Tool in that it allows you to create an optimized pattern of geometric objects across a face on a solid body. This is different than the standard patterns like the rectangular, circular, or pattern on a path in that it is contained specifically to the selected face to create a geometric pattern. From the Create panel, select Pattern, Geometric Pattern. This opens the Geometric Pattern dialog. The first thing you want to do is select a face to apply the pattern to. Here I have a disk that I want to use to create a filter or drain. To create the drain holes, I'll go ahead and select the center face. This opens the Geometric Pattern dialog. Here I can choose the object type, whether it's a sphere, cylinder, cube, or a custom object that I created. For the object size, you'll see that right now there is a size limit 1 of 1 millimeter and a size limit 2 equal to 8 millimeters. The spread value of 0 evenly distributes the pattern size from the size limit 1 value in the center to the size limit 2 value at the perimeter. Adjusting the spread adjusts the distribution of the size values from the center out to the perimeter. To create the drain, I'll set size limit 1 to 2 millimeters and size limit 2 to 2 millimeters as well. I'll leave the spread set to 0. For the object distribution, there are five object distribution types. Rectangular, triangular, hexagonal, circular, and radial. For this drain, I'll change the distribution type to rectangular. You can adjust the distance values using the arrow icons in the viewport, or you can enter the values in the dialog. Notice when I change the distribution type, it also changed the spacing and distance entries available to me. I'll leave the spacing type to increment and set U distance to 4 millimeters and V distance to 4 millimeters. I'll keep the orientation set to face direction. There are options for U and V alignment, which in this case, I will leave center and middle respectively. The last option, clear perimeter, is checked and will let me set a value for the perimeter offset, which will give me a minimum distance between the last hole in this pattern and the perimeter of the face. I'll set the value to one millimeter, leave the operation at cut, and click OK. One thing to notice is that the whole pattern does not go all the way through the part, even though it is cut out. To fix this, I'll double click the sketch and edit it. Then create a line going from the center out to the edge. Make it parallel to the top edge. Add a dimension and set the dimension value to one millimeter. I'm setting the value to one millimeter because that is the dimension from the middle of the cylinder to the bottom of the cylinder in the cutout of the face. Then I'll finish the sketch. The next thing to do is remove the lower section from the revolve. Next, I'll edit the revolve and, holding the Shift key down, click to remove the profile at the bottom, making the geometry only one millimeter thick in the middle. Then, click OK. Now notice that the pattern goes all the way through the part. But the problem is, now I need to add the three millimeters that were removed when the sketch was edited. To do this, I'll orbit around so I can see the bottom of the part. Since this part is easy, a simple flat surface, I can just use the press pull command. From the modify panel, I'll click press pull, set the offset type to new offset, set the distance to three millimeters, and press enter. This creates the whole pattern going all the way through the part. One advantage to using the geometric pattern tool is if you want to change the geometric pattern type. Currently it's set to rectangular, but I want to change it to circular for a different look. To update the pattern, I'll double click the geometric pattern entry in the timeline. In the dialog, I'll change the distribution type to circular. Then I'll make sure the radial distance is set to four millimeters and the distance is set to four millimeters. When I'm done, 
I'll click OK. When would you want to use the Geometric Pattern tool? Use the Geometric Pattern when you need to isolate an array of objects on a specific face. Keep in mind the face does not need to be flat. It can be a curved surface, like the filleted edge of a box. Let me know if you have any additional comments or questions about using the Geometric Pattern tool by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell for notification of future videos. For now, this is Stephen Shane, the 3D Professor. Thank you.